Hello, welcome to this tutorial about how to implement AdMod apps in Unity for Android. First, we need to see what we want to do. What I mean with that is, let's play. I have two scenes, SM1 and SM2. I want that when I, I touch this button, go to SM2, that you can see that I go to SM2. I want that between the scenes, put an instantial ad. Uh, in the SM2, in this scene, I want to put a banner ad. How we are going to do this one? First we need to import the package. What package? Uh, we can download the package from here. Google Mobile Ads Unity Plugin. Uh, we are going to download the plugin. I have it right now in the desk here. I already have it. So yeah, I'm going to import this in Unity. So we're going to Assets. Import package. I'm gonna leave the link and all in the description so you can download by yourself. Desktop, Google Mobile Ads 5. So we import it. We wait. We want to install all, all of it. And let's touch import. Now that we already have the package installed, we are going to Assets, Google Mobile Ads, Settings. Here, we are gonna touch a tablet here in AdMob, Google AdMob, and we are going to put our Android app ID. Where we can find the app ID? Here, we can find. In AdMob, I already test, uh, created a test app where we can find the app ID here. I'm going to put this. We are going to get, maybe, we get this package resolver. Yeah, we touch enable, yes. And it's resolving under Android dependencies. So we wait for that. Now, this already charged, so we are gonna touch at select registries. This is only if the, is that window prompts. If the window doesn't prompt um, when you are doing this, don't, don't move anything. So we wait again. Okay, close. Close. All right. Now we apply. So after all of that charging, we, we can put now our app ID. I put this app ID. This is mine. Don't put this. Put your app, your own app ID here. Now we are going to touch assets. Then click in dependency, external dependency manager, and the resolver will be touch resolve. We wait. Wait again. Yeah. Resolution is set. Now what we need to do now? is to create the, the script that is gonna show the the ads. We are gonna call ads shower. Ad shower. Now we open it. It's open. So what we are going what are we going to do here? First we need to put a lot of stuff <laughs> using it's not a lot, it's just, you just need to concentrate. Google Mobile Ads. Using Google Mobile Ads, where are you gonna use this library? Now, super important, we need to initialize. So, this is the, this is the tutorial, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the link of this page in the description. So, we are gonna put this, Mobile Ads initialize. This is super important. If this doesn't happen in the start, everything's gonna crash. Mobile Ads initialize. Now, after I, if, after that, we are gonna create uh, uh, some stuff. I ha already have a, a script with all of that here. A manager one in English. I'm gonna open it. So maybe I'm gonna leave this script in the description. You all you have to do is copy and paste. That that's it. You don't need to do a lot of stuff. So first we are gonna create a static, so we can call it right, uh, for another script later. Public static at shower instance. Here, this is not Google Mobile. This is Google Mobile Ads dot API. Dot API. Now, now, this is working. Yeah. Now we are gonna create our banner with the string and our instantial ad with the string. The strings are our, our app ID, our ads ID. So we are gonna go public. Like you can see here, you can paste this if you want to. I'm gonna paste it so to show you. It's very easy. Just 
paste copy and paste and then I'm gonna explain it so we create our public string full screen ID this is our interstitial at ID when we up this is what we this is the one that we want to show between the scenes and we are gonna put our at ID here where we found this ID at ID we are going to add mob in our app we are gonna do block and anuncios this is in Spanish is and we are gonna f find interstitials you know we we create it and this is the interstitial ID important when you are testing you need to use the testing IDs so this is a, this is the test ID we are gonna copy the interstitial video test ID we copy it from here from this page I'm gonna leave the, the, the script with the interstitial ID with the, with the test ID in the description we paste it and now we copy the banner one banner the test banner ID we copy this and paste it here I'm gonna make it this is very easy you need to copy paste copy so then after putting the, the strings we are gonna create it public interstitial add full screen this is the name of our full of our interstitial add and then public string banner or public banner view banner view is important that the banner banner one eon this is the name of our banner after that we need to list and here we want that in the start we already ask for one interstitial ad so we are gonna put like you see you see request full screen what does request full screen does we are gonna put this here and now we are going to explain it it's like this first we are gonna put request full screen this one I'm gonna copy this so full screen is what new is that ID look at this void this void only what does is to request for into this alert ID and then show it when we ask for it they show it so here is and then complete not full screen full screen load at request that's it. that's it that's everything and now to show it we need to do this one show full screen we're gonna copy this and paste it. that's it when we want when we want to show the full screen the interstitial app we only call this void and that's it now for the banner the banner we are we are gonna request it with pulling boy request banner request it this is when the when it starts. I'm gonna public boy request banner. Where, where are here? I'm sure, sorry. Public boy request banner. And then we are gonna do the hide banner. Public boy hide by. This is when we don't want to show the banner. So to show the banner, we request it. And then when we don't want the the banner to be seen, we use hide banner. We just push this void. Now to everything of this work to work to put this all in work, we need to create an awake this one that for so the script can crash and we can call it for another scripts we can reference it but boy awake yeah that's it that's we we have uh, the ads implemented so we are gonna we are gonna we have the request or shoulders full screen or request banner or high banner and the awake the way this the crash doesn't doesn't the script doesn't crash now we have this now we are going to implement we are going to implement this so I want that in the same changer this this script is the one that is moving for instance when you touch the button. If I touch change to a scene two like this, I go to a scene two. If I go touch back to a scene one, I go to a scene one. What I want, I want that when I touch change to a scene two, show the interstitial app. So I'm, I'm going to reference it. So I need to put use here at shower dot instance dot show full screen and that's it now when we change from a scene to, from a scene one to a scene two we are going to see the interstitial ad and we what do we want when back to a scene uh, and what do we want in a start in a start we want to request the banner so what, what are we going to do we are going to do 
sorry, from here, from this, this is an old new script. We are going to start is at shower dot instance dot hold hold this is called this is request banner. When you start we are gonna request the banner right now. And then in back to the scene one I want to hide the banner in the scene one. In the scene two I want to hide the banner. So after we change to scene two in show the ad, I'm gonna hide the banner. I'm gonna hide the banner before showing the ad. So I'm gonna do a shower to instance punto hide banner. That's it. And we put this. We save. Here we save. So now we can see in the log because I put this the one debug log. When it's so, when it's loaded or when it's not loaded. So yeah, after we already done this, we have our script here, our, the reference here. We are gonna go to Unity and put this at shower in the in any object that we want. I'm gonna put it in main camera. So we have this at shower script. Now we are going to touch play. Wait for it for start. Now you can see that in the console. Everything is working fine. In Italy, is it is it's a created, loaded ad, loaded ad, show banner view. We are f seeing here the banner. Yes, we can see here because we are in the lead in the editor. But uh, I'm going to do a test in the mobile so you can see it. And when I go to a scene two, you can see that loaded show hide the banner, show interstitial, everything. Now we are going to test this in the mobile so you can check that everything is okay. We are them in the mobile, so now I'm going to open the app. Wait, it, wait for it to charge. Now, we wait for the ads to load. There it is. There is that's the banner, and we touch it. Go to a scene two, and you can see that we have the interstitial ad. I'm gonna close it and test it again. You that you can see in this scene two that we don't have the banner because I hide. Go to scene 2 again and the interstitial ad is showing. And that's it. Go to scene 1, go to scene 2. Now, I'm gonna leave all the links in the description, the links on the project, the, the scripts, and everything. Good luck. Bye.